And a new wave of Rohingya refugees have made their way into Bangladesh from neighboring Myanmar, saying their homes were attacked and burned by a rebel force battling the military junta. A report. 30-year-old Saifur Rahman along with his wife and children made their way into Bangladesh from Myanmar as they managed to save their lives along with thousands others, saying their homes were attacked and burned by a rebel force battling the military junta. Scores of Rohingyas in Buthidong town in Myanmar found themselves fleeing on foot in May and running for their lives as their homes were allegedly burned down in the dead of the night. The conflict flared after a ceasefire between the Arakan army, a powerful armed ethnic group, and the Myanmar junta broke down late last year. Since then, the Arakan army is said to have taken over large swathes of territory. Initial reports suggest at least 45 Rohingyas died during the attack and its immediate aftermath. Bangladesh is already home to almost a million Rohingyas and thousands of others are reportedly waiting on the other side of the border. The South Asian nation is reluctant to accept more and the future of the newly arrived hangs in the balance with deportation a possibility. They said they chose to stay in Buthidong even after surviving the horror in 2017, believing the worst was over, but the recent atrocities were more brutal than the violence they experienced. <laughs> The Myanmar's Information Ministry has denied that the military had ignited communal tensions and attributed all blame on the Arakan army. Myanmar has been engulfed in chaos since February 2021, when the military led by Min Ong Liang ousted an elected civilian government in a coup, triggering a wave of protests that has transformed into a nationwide armed rebellion against the junta.